Yeah, this is where Coach Garmin grew up, and he was an All-American for Laramie High here for, in 1996 and 97. So it's real special for him and his assistant, Larry, who was another All-American, too. It's just a special day for us. You know, we're going to close out this Plainsman's pool that has su- such a rich history and tradition, and uh, we just thought it'd be a really good idea to bring back alumni, invite alumni for our senior night meet, and uh, just make it a real special night. So we put in a lot of preparation for it. Obviously, I'm, I'm sure you're going to handle South from a dual standpoint. So how do you kind of balance those emotions with trying to still win a meet in your final one here in the pool? Because you don't want to get upset. Yeah, we've we've swam South a couple times already in dual meets. And they have some real top-end swimmers. Unfortunately, they just don't have a whole lot of depth right now. So I'm not too worried about us being able to win this meet. It's more about... You know, swimming for good times, just swimming hard in front of the home crowd and and put Plainsman Pool out on a good note. What do you think back, Tom, to when you first stepped foot in this facility and then all the wins that you compiled? And obviously it's been nice to be at the rec center, but just it's a unique kind of atmosphere, it seems like here. Yeah, the first time I sat in this pool, I remember it. I was 10 years old. It was in 1974 and it was at a winter state championship meet. And this whole entire high school was just crawling with swimmers. That's the first time. And now as a coach, I, I started here in 1986 and have coached hundreds of meets in this pool. Uh, And it was very special. It's very small. It's a small venue. It's going to be really loud and really crowded. Then transitioning over into the years at the rec center, that's been a great venue for our meets too, but it's never quite been like home like this pool was. Just to have it in your home high school and to not have to travel across town to go to a swim meet. So a lot of mixed emotions about this this meet tonight. So uh, we're going to hope for the best, hopefully have a great turnout and uh, just a good atmosphere for all of us. Is there anything that stands out in terms of you know certain wins or things like that that kind of come to your mind when you think about Plainsman Pool? You know, there were some really good wins in this pool, some close losses. I, I can think of a, a lot of different meets throughout the, the time that I've coached here that wins came down to the last second. You know, the a win against Green River one year that came down to the last event. A win against Gillette in 97 was the first time we'd beaten them in boy swimming in a long time. And that happened here at this pool. So, uh, yeah, just all sorts of, of great memories on the girls' side as well. We had we tied Central once here at just a great swim meet back in the in the early 2000s. And I don't know, just too many to count, really. As you've put some things together, thinking back over the records, what are some of the things that uh, people might want to kind of pay attention to when they come to this duel tonight at Plains, Plainsman Pool and, and see all the history that you've kind of compiled? Yeah, it's been a lot of work. My my TAs have helped me a lot. We went through all the old Laramie records. Uh, you know, I have all the how many kids of All-American and, and all that and how many state champions this program has had, over 300 individual state champions. 32 state team championships is just an incredible number for this these teams over the years was able to compile all the coaches records throughout the years and and that's an impressive number over all the years from all these coaches that have contributed to the Laramie High swimming history so it it was really a lot of work but it was a lot of fun I'm a student of history and I I love doing that kind of stuff and uh, we put together the top 10 performances of all time in every event and that's been interesting and a lot of fun and I've gotten a lot of feedback from ex-swimmers that hey you you jipped me out of a tenth of a second here or whatever and went back and fixed all those but it's, it's just been a great you know this program is so rich in history from Coach Kapishka all the way through to what we're doing now and uh, it's just a big part of my life and a big part of these kids lives. Obviously, I know you're anxious to get to the new facility, and, and that'll be nice, but uh, this one has some sentimental value, so you feel like you might get a little emotional towards the end tonight? It's it's quite possible. You know, I, I started coaching here in this pool full-time in 1986 with Laramie Swim Club. I've been here 30 years, and you know, I, I've raised my family. During, I, I started before I was even married. I've been married 26 years now, 27 years, and it, it's just, it's been a part of my life. I've I've spent so much time in this facility and of course there's mixed emotions i'm absolutely thrilled about the new pool Um, it's everything we've always dreamed of having and can't wait to get in there and start having meets but this has been a, a huge part of my life and a part of so many kids lives 
Lastly, real quick, and it kind of relates more to the new pool than this pool, but uh, I know there's the movement to get uh, Kapishka's name on the new pool. Do you support that? What would you think in terms of that and, and what he meant to this program overall as a, as a guy you knew, but unfortunately I didn't have the pleasure to? Well, I don't know if it, very many people know this. I student taught under Coach Kapishka back in the late 80s, and uh, he really took me under his wing. He believed in me and, and gave me the chance to be – a coach in the Laramie swimming program. I was a Sheridan kid and then swam at the university and, and got into the club coaching here. But, but I really got to know Lane Kapishka when I student taught for him and we got very close and I couldn't think of any better name to, to name the new pool, Lane Kapishka pool. He started this whole thing. He started all the traditions and all that. You know, I, I've been privileged to coach here for the last 26, 28 years with the whole deal. Lane Kapishka, is an absolute legend. They should name it after him. Well, good luck to you tonight. Certainly hope that uh, there's a maybe standing room only crowd. It sounds like there will be. We're expecting a big crowd here tonight and uh, looking forward to it.